700,000 panels on over 800 acres of land. That really powers this entire town is unique. Where did the idea of the ranch come from? Did you, I, I feel like creating a town from scratch has got to be a little crazy. So had you ever seen yourself creating a whole town? You know, I, I, I would say yes, uh, but very lofty goal, as you could imagine. Not a lot of places in the country you can build a new city, if you will, new town. Uh, we're almost 20,000 homes and 6 million square feet. So I would say that uh, I, I'd always have wanted to do it. And uh, the thing we wanted to do is to do it the right way. And uh, being a very strong advocate for the environment that I've always been my entire life, which is, I know people go, but wait a minute, you're a developer. <laughs> and I go, you know, my, my answer to that is, is, has always been, you know, people have to live somewhere, so let's do it the right way. We can uh, preserve land. We can uh, create places that are healthy, healthy environments, and really do the right thing for our, our, our kids and our grandkids. And, and so the idea of doing that and building a new city, new town, the right way from the ground up, uh, was very exciting. When I was speaking to Lisa, she, um, it, it was such a fun way to describe the town, but she had said, we're kind of like Mayberry meets the Jetsons. Um, and she, you know, cause she was like, everybody knows their neighbor, but um, you know, people are using this tech that normally you wouldn't see utilized in a smaller town. And she's kind of spot on. I think it's a place that has uh, that hometown feeling that you remember growing up, but has all the modern technologies of today. The fact that we have 150 megawatt solar power generating facility that really powers this entire town is unique. 700,000 panels on over 800 acres of land. It's really incredible. One, one of the things that I wanna ask about was if you feel like the ranch is replicable because that you guys had the opportunity to start it from scratch. Do you think that other towns or cities can take what you've done and apply it to what they're doing? Or is it is it necessary to start from scratch? Well, it, I mean, that's a really, really good, uh, really good question be, because, um, I, you know, I've been to a lot of conferences and in these conferences, they love to talk. Uh, they talk about smart cities and they talk about sustainability and all these things and everyone leaves feeling really good, but how many people are actually stepping up to do it? I think what has me excited is that people are, they're actually doing it and because they're finding that there is a, an economic benefit, an economic gain to do it that way. For the longest time, everybody thought, well, being uh, thoughtful about the environment, being sustainable was more expensive. Uh, it's not. It's just doing it right from the beginning. So I, in that sense, when you have a kind of a blank sheet of paper, it can, it is replica, replicable. However, the challenge then comes in when you have an existing city and what are those things that you can do uh, in, where you have these legacy infrastructure issues? Um, and and I think part of the, the solution there is, is don't think short term, think long term. You're not going to do it overnight, but get started and, and start doing those things in your city that can that can create a better environment, make it more sustainable. And then, you know, what, what, within the next 10, 20 years, all of a sudden you're going to wake up one day and go, wow, you know, look what we've done here. Look at the things we've implemented. If we if we put a plan together that says we're going to do this over a period of time, um, I think there could be real results. And I think the planet is going to be a better place if we do that. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of the content that we're producing around solar uh, has been focused on accessibility and kind of being a resource for people who think maybe going solar is next to impossible. Um, so I was wondering if you could speak a little bit about, um, has it been a struggle to keep accessibility or diversity even at the forefront of town planning? Um, I, I wouldn't say it's a struggle. I think the way you do it is by by offering a total stratification of pricing and products. You know, if you're going to have young families, you better have some affordability too. And and by the way, not everybody wants to live in a single family home. 
So we do, we, we, right now we have, we do have uh, condos that we're building. We have, uh, we have an apartment complex that's going to start construction here very shortly. That, that to us um, is, is creates that diversity that is so important to a real town. A real town needs to be diverse, period. So I wanted to bring up, I initially had found you all just by Google searching solar powered city. Um, but with all the innovations that you're implementing, it almost seems like that's just a portion of what's really going on. So would you personally think of Babcock Ranch still as tagline the first solar power city or is it more, hey, we're actually just the city of the future? It's a great question. We worked so hard on creating this first solar town. I wanted to take eight years. So um, I embrace it. However, we are also a town of innovation. We have things that we're doing here that we'll be announcing over the course of the next couple of months that are really, I think, you know, uh, groundbreaking, whether it be the delivery of goods and services uh, and how we're doing that. You know that we've been very involved in autonomous uh, transportation. You, you know, we're the first solar powered town, but we really focus on innovation. Um, I got to throw a lofty question in here, but what what do you think has been the most rewarding part of the Babcock Ranch journey? I think proving that development and the environment can work hand in hand. I've been out to prove that from day one. But let's not rely on government. Let's do it ourselves. Let's the private sector step up. And if we're going to attack global warming and we want people to live a healthy life, we can do it. And um, and that's what we've set out to prove at Babcock Ranch. And I'll tell you, we are proving it. And that's probably one of the most exciting parts of uh, things that we're doing here.